Hey guys, Jules here. Got another video for you. This is a very important one. I named this vision the Pillow Vision. It's about breaking soul ties. We give Father God honor. Father God, I give you all the honor and glory for dreams, visions, words, and allies for speaking to us, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for all the dreams and visions you're giving your children about what's coming, lighting the path, Father. God, thank you for your word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for Jesus. Father, I ask that you take this video have the Holy Spirit take it to those that need to see it, put it in their heart. And I pray that they're obedient, Father. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, amen. Guys, this is about breaking soul ties. God gave me a dream, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, a vision for this with a message, and it is powerful. My son, this is a message of direction, warning, and prophecy. Uh, my son, you are unaware of the window of heaven opportunity. My son, this is prophetic insight. The influence is increasing and getting stronger of those resting in faith, regardless of circumstance. There is a window of heaven opportunity for the person of the flesh that has a soul tie to generational curses and emotional attachments to strongholds that cause bondage in life. It is the tie between spirit and body. Instead of having soul connection with the blood of Jesus, which is protection and security. In the future and next in time, this is now exposed that those not intimate or not in fellowship will be undone, exposed, revealed, and shamed. The person of the flesh that has a soul tie to generational curses Emotional attachments, these are strongholds that cause bondage in life. It is the tie between spirit and body. Instead of having soul connection with the blood of Jesus, which is protection and security, Jesus will preserve you, nurture you, and he will hide and keep you secret and protected. You will be changed resting in faith in Christ, regardless of circumstance. I want to say that whole, I want to say this one paragraph again. This is prophetic insight. The influence is increasing, getting stronger of those resting in faith, regardless of their circumstance. So it's saying that you could have a situation where you're, you're, you're in bondage, but you're in, you're in chains, but you're still, you're still resting in faith. You're believing in God. You're believing in Jesus, but he's saying that you need to break these soul ties so he's saying there is a window of heaven window of heaven opportunity is called for this person of the flesh that has a soul tie to generational curses emotional attachments strongholds that cause bondage in life and this and it is the tie between spirit and body instead of having soul connections with the blood of christ which is protection and security now that is the message i want to go a little bit further and talk to you a little bit about soul ties, the different types of soul ties, and how they are formed. Now, there's a godly soul tie, and that's a connection in the spiritual realm that brings beneficial consequences. Now, and then there's the ungodly soul tie that goes against God's plan, usually brought on by demons. These are like sex outside of marriage, or toxic situations that you've been involved in, or people that you know that have been infilled with demonic spirits, that's an ungodly soul tie. Now there's a physical, as humans we crave physical touch, whether it be you know, a sexual act or a simple hug, which can create and bond, also keep you bonded with a person. There's emotional, sharing feelings or experiences and going through ups and downs with someone can really strengthen a bond and also create a soul tie. This explains why it may be hard to cut ties with someone you share an emotional tie, soul tie with. Their spiritual soul tie. Since we are spiritual beings, this soul tie is usually formed when you have a spiritual or emotional relationship with someone. It transforms into something deeper, powerful, creating that spiritual soul tie. So, um, social. This usually forms through settings of social interactions, usually with friends and coworkers. There's also a permanent soul tie. When two souls merge without the, without the agreement of each other, usually they are aware of it and deal with this soul tie on a more conscious level. So 
you know, you can have soul ties with multiple peoples who, who also aren't your soulmate. So it's very possible. Some of the reason, some of the ways you know that it's an unhealthy soul tie is when you want to leave but can't. You're being, you're beginning to lose yourself. The energy is off. The feel constant negative emotions. The, there's connection. The connection is draining. You know it's healthy soul tie when you feel connected on a deeper level. They feel familiar, comfortable. They complete you. You feel like yourself around them. You get positive benefits versus negative from being around them. You crave their presence constantly, want to be around them. So how do you how do you break a soul tie? See, that's another thing that we have our document. We 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 would love to send it to you if you just email us at openeyesofheart at gmail.com or redemption for you at gmail.com. Basically, um, it's it's that the emails will be on the on the on the notification card at the beginning at the end of this video. I'm trying to go fast. Um, basically, guys, you can have a soul tie with the Mormon Church. You can have a soul tie with Jehovah's Witness. You can have a soul tie with um, with witchcraft you can have soul tie with with um you know ungodly people and different things so you want to you want to basically um break these soul ties you just say a prayer you just say father god or, or jesus jesus if i have any soul ties bring them to my memory bring them to my mind anybody that has a soul tie with right now in the name of jesus i break those soul ties and i don't want to have anything to do with those people or those organizations or anything like this right so if you if you just email us, we'll send you our document. It has all that information in there about generational curses. Also, if you're uh, talking about generational curses, if if you have a, a family member, a father or mother that's ever been divorced, that 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 curse is passed down to you and could be passed down to your children as well. These are this is the Lord is saying there's a unique opportunity for those people that cannot get through this fast, that are trying, but they cannot get through. You have to try. You have to give it a best. But he's saying that there's a unique open window in heaven for you to break soul ties. God bless you guys. Love you very much. And this is Jules out.